Okay, so today we will make the cherry sherapeng, which yes. is cherry cake. And this is number two because we've already filmed the first one from Wilmanini. Yeah, and then the Wilmanini is you put the <laughs> cherry in in the dough, mix the it, dough. and Oops. this one you put it on the top. That was the floor quick again. <laughs> okay, so okay. what we use is is 18, 18 deca, deca butter, butter and one deca is 10 grams. Okay. So then with this 18 deca butter, we will put three egg yolks, mm -hmm. mix it up. First you cream a butter a little bit, then you put the egg yolk and three deca icing sugar okay. and you cream it. And then you beat the egg white hard with six deca powder sugar mm -hmm. and then gentle mix together with the yellow mixture mm -hmm. and then after fold the 10 deca flour mm -hmm. into it gently again and then you pour the whole thing into a paper uh, uh, how is it pen? a paper pen, pen. Yeah, a pen. pen with paper uh, so using the parchment paper. parchment paper and then pour it in, pour the dough in and then put the pitted half cherries on the, on top. the top and then on 350 with our oven we will bake it and I don't know exactly for how many minutes we will see at the end right maybe okay. for 30 minutes 40 minutes I don't know we'll see okay and then you, you put some icing sugar on the top and if you make with the salt cherry you can make with the salt cherry we mm -hmm. have in the garden mm -hmm. but you put a little bit more sugar then on, oh, on the top when, when it's finished and when it's cooled, you take out from the pan and just slice it up nicely. Okay. okay. Well, then so we'll let you finish that part up, and then we'll show you the folding in of the uh, yes the butter and the sugar and all that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll stop for now. Okay. So now we put all the dough in there. Mm -hmm. and put the cherry on the top. See it's on paper. Yeah. And now I can we can put it into the oven. Okay. And as I said, in our oven, three hundred fifty. And we'll see for how many minutes. I guess about maybe 30, 35 minutes. We'll see. Uh, okay, so that's how it looks so far. Let's see, let's see. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, okay. And it's preheated, preheated oven. Preheated oven at 350. Because it says mere shaker, like moderate uh, oven, moderate warm oven. So moderate at 350, I believe. Okay. If they say hot, it would be 400 or something, maybe 375. But uh, ours with 375 burns everything, so we use 350. 350. Because um, uh, it doesn't give a time, the recipe, so we'll figure out how much uh, yeah, you cooked yeah. it for. And yeah. listen, Arikan, you did a slight variation there while you actually made it. You uh, yeah, found man, that it wasn't a good idea to uh, okay, so mix the sugar before you whip the uh, whites. No, what the best thing to do is uh, whip the white until it's hard, nice mm -hmm. and hard and then gently mix in the six stack of powder sugar mm -hmm. because if I mix it uh, during the beating mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, work doesn't thicken doesn't, properly it uh, doesn't thicken up really hard and so, same with the butter too you found hey and well a butter are two so I used to put the sugar first mix mm -hmm. it with sugar and then you put the egg okay so that's the same thing so okay so rather than mixing the butter separately and then putting yeah. the egg in yeah. uh, you first no into the soft butter you soft and the butter of course yeah. in the soft butter you put the sugar, sugar. first mix it nice creamy and then mm, put, put the, the egg, egg, yolks, egg yolk and then mix it together, mix it together. Yeah. and then add those two separate and liquids then, together then and then mm. you put the hard uh, egg white into the yellow mixture mm -hmm. gently fold in and then after folding the 10 deco Flour. flour and then you mix it up with the and then I mix it up uh, um, with the I, mixer. I, I forget if I mix it because I usually you mix just up with hand. Okay, you just stir it together. Or I, I don't remember. Maybe I mix it. Too. I don't remember. I guess I hand them because the mixer is buttery. Okay, so you just mix so it by hand. Mix it with with, with, with a spoon with or spatula. something. Spatula. Uh, spatula. Okay. Spoon. spoon. Like spoon? Shit, I mean, I use that white plastic spoon. White plastic spoon. But it's like a, Okay. So you can use separate um, wooden spoon for donut, mm -hmm. cake donut. You mm -hmm. don't use the paprika uh, old <laughs> with a cooking wooden spoon. So no. that's why we use that nice white plastic okay. spoon. Okay, well, you can listen. Let's come back when we figure out when the cake's done and we'll give yeah. a time then. Yeah, so now okay. it was about three or 
CO5, mm -hmm. and then we'll see. We will check about half an hour, okay. 30 minutes, okay? Okay, back in a bit uh, then. Okay, so this is the finished product. Mm -hmm. See, it should be nice and light brown, beige, darker beige. Mm -hmm. The dough, what you can see around. And um, now you just leave it here to cool, and just take out and slice it up. And if you want, you can put icing sugar on the top. Yes, okay. And just a little to have a little bit sweeter or nice looking. Just to sprinkle it, okay. Yeah, because I do is sweet enough, I guess. If not, you know, mm -hmm. you can uh, mm -hmm. sprinkle it. And um, uh, what I want to say. Well, it was about yeah. 35 minutes, so you thought, 35 eh? 35 minutes, yeah. You better check it about if you smell it and it's already nice smelly one then. Check if it's brown like that. Okay. But it is about 35 minutes. Wonderful. Okay, well, thanks so okay. much for that. Only come. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zerbus. Zerbus. Mm -hmm. Good appetite. Good appetite.